In this presentation, we're going to look at item cross references and vendor item number for Microsoft Dynamics NAV. So let's go to an item card. So 1000 is our codification for our number for the bicycle. And we, in the replenishment tab, we can indicate which, what is our normal vendor and their vendor item number. So when we create a purchase order and we want to select which item it is, if, if we do an advanced lookup, we could filter on the vendor item number. So it's a, an easy way to put the vendor number, vendor item number. Okay, if you don't do an advanced lookup, you could have the vendor item number showing directly here. And you could filter it in the same way. Just however, to do that, you would have to do a change on the item table and on the fields, field groups, I have added the vendor item number. So to be displayed in this short uh, lookup list. Now let's go to the item card and see other uh, possibilities. On the navigate vendor, we find the item vendor catalog where we could say if we buy it from more than one vendor we could indicate which vendor and their vendor item number okay. however if you use the vendor item catalog you cannot really filter it, uh, you cannot really filter the item list. If I try to put the reference of the, uh, of the other vendor, I can't. And let's even go back to the vendor 3000 and put their reference here. We don't have it. And even if I, if I go to the vendor item number, it's not displayed. So not so great on this vendor item to put our reference there. So instead we could use another the, the item cross references. Let's go to the item card and you see we have cross references. Let's see how it works. First, I just indicate cross reference number, a simple a number, and we delete that line and we're going to redo it again. Instead of putting in the number in the cross reference number, I can put the number and the system automatically finds it. I could have multiple numbers for the same item. So let's do a second line with a second number and still nav retrieve the correct item. So let's go back to the cross references and see what else. So in the first column cross reference type we have vendor customer barcode. Let's put a vendor. So we select vendor and a particular vendor. Now that's the numbering of the vendor. Let's try to use it on a vendor 30,000. It doesn't work. It doesn't work because we are not on the right vendor. Let's go to the right vendor, vendor 40,000. We put their reference and nav finds it. 
one more time let's go back to the cross references and we put barcode the barcode pretty much uh, works like the blank type so it applies to any vendor and now I've uh, found the right item now one change we've made at Match Business Solution is that we have added a tick box show vendor reference in purchase order so that when we print our purchase order it is displayed in the number instead of our number the vendor C his number. So if we try on different ones, this vendor see his number. So it works in the same way. First is try to find the vendor item number if it's the, the correct vendor on the item card. Then it tries to find in the item vendor catalog and if it doesn't find these two, it tries to find it as a particular cross-reference or at, as a generic cross-reference.